Hello everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, can you believe it's November 1st? My goodness, where has the year gone? It's just zoom by. But I'm so excited to share with you today that Fun Stampers Journey is now joining the Spellbinder shop. It's fantastic to have these two companies together in one place. So it's like a one-stop shop, which is nice. And this is actually the first time that I'm using Fun Stamper Journey products. This is their stamp set and it's called Holiday Joy. And I love the quality of these. They're red rubber stamps. And then the sheet that they're packaged this in is a heavyweight plastic sheet that you can store your stamps on. So it's wonderful. So it's not something like cardboard you just toss away. It's something that's actually functional, which is nice. Also, today I get to play with a die set. It's a nine piece die set and it's called Special Tags, Special Day Tags and Die Set. Uh, the front of the package shows the scale of each one of the dies, which I appreciate so much. Uh, too many times I've purchased something and when I've received them, it was either smaller or bigger than the packaging. So this is wonderful. Now this die set also coordinates with the Holiday Joy stamp set. So it cuts out a few of the elements. And then also the decorative um, pieces will cut out the smaller sentiments like Let It Snow and then this one here, this says happy holidays and joy to the world. So it doesn't just create tags, which is very versatile. And I believe these are sold in the bundle. So links for everything that I use today, guys, will be in the description area in case you like what you see and are interested. Now I'm also going to be using a die set called uh, Branch and Cone. Now this is the scale of them, which is lovely. Oh, and don't you just love the, the lime green dies? When I first saw them, I thought this is so neat. I mean, I thought pink ones were great, but the lime green were really nice too. I like the coating on them because it makes them um, release from the paper a lot easier. But I'm going to be using this one today as well. It has two um, pine cones and two of the like pine needle sprigs. So we're setting everything aside and we're going to jump in with our first project. So I'm going to grab some gold cardstock here. This is from Spellbinders. And I'm going to take those um, those pine cones, both the large and the small. Um, I thought it'd be easier to use some double-sided sticky tape behind the gold cardstock and die cut it because I'm going to actually adhere my pine my gold pine cones on another layer of pine cone. So I thought this would be easier, but I was wrong. So I would completely skip this step because the double-sided sticky tape. Um, was really sticky and it kind of um, was a little bit of a booger. <laughs> okay, so I have both the small pine cones cut out and one large one. Now I'm going to grab some Bristol Smooth cardstock and we're going to do a little ink blending with my Distress Oxide ink. This is Vintage Photo and I'm just going to go over the bottom of this panel adding a little bit of shading. Now I'm kind of doing this a little bit quickly. Well, I did speed it up so it looks like it's extra quickly. But I wanted the paper to stay wet a little bit when I ran it through the die cut machine because typically I've found that if I run it through while it's still wet, then the pieces stay together when you want to separate them. And that's what I wanted to do today. I want to keep all those inside pieces together. And so with the ink being wet, it does help out quite a bit. Lovely. Now, my, my pine cones I found looked a little bit boring with a with a vintage photo. So what I'm going to do is grab a baby wipe and give it a little bit more texture. And so I'm going to lift some of that oxide ink up with my baby wipe. I found this is really super easy to do and it does add a lot of texture, which is nice. Once I'm happy with the outcome, I think we're going to set this aside. No, I'm going to layer the gold on top. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to take my tool in one, punch out these pieces. Now, this is what happened. I thought they would just punch out easily, but they were adhering to the double-sided sticky tape. And so all those little pieces were sticking to the sticky in the back. But I got it all off, which is nice. I'm just going to layer my gold on top of my brown pine cone. And I just love this effect. And I lost a piece. I got to inlay that bottom piece there. But I love brown and golds together. I did all three of them. I'm going to give you a close up to show you what they look like. I love brown and gold together. I think it just looks so earthy but elegant. 
Love that effect. Okay, now I'm going to take that same sheet that we used with the vintage photo on it, and I'm going to grab some more Distress Oxide ink. This here is Shabby Shutters. It's a real pretty green. We're going to use this for our pine needles. I'm going to give a little bit of definition with some forest moss. Just dabbing color here and there. So we get a two-tone look on, on each one of our pine needles. Now I'm going to grab both dies and arrange them on our panel so they fit well. Add a little bit more of the shabby shutters there and run that through the die cut machine. So those are all ready to go. Now I'm going to use these both these beautiful frames here. I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna do, create a frame. So I'm gonna grab some more of that gold cardstock, um, layer them both together on here. And when I ran this through my uh, Platinum 6, it actually embossed two. That that's smaller frame left an impression on the, the larger frame and it embossed it and it made it look really pretty. I was really happy with the outcome. I'll, you can see what it looks like here. But so pretty. Okay, we're going to set that aside. Now next I'm going to use some pattern paper from my stash. Now um, all three cards today are using the same pattern paper and if I can find it I'll list it below but most of my pattern papers are pretty old. But um, any kind of wood grain pattern paper you have would work great. I'm going to cut out a window using the smaller die that we use for our frame and then I trim down the panel to a um, four inch by five and a quarter inch panel. Using my pencil I'm going to trace around my window. This way I know exactly where to stamp my sentiment. So I'm from the Holiday Joy stamp set. We're going to grab Joy to the World. We'll place that inside the window and then place that um, my card base inside my mini misty. We're going to do some heat embossing with gold embossing powder. So I'm going to grab my Versamark ink. We're going to stamp our sentiment a few times. Next we're going to grab some scratch paper and our gold embossing powder and just go over our sentiment. And then we'll go ahead and melt that. Once it's all nice and melted, we're going to use an eraser and erase our pencil marks. Lovely. Now I had already added foam tape behind my wood grain pattern paper. So we're just going to remove the release paper and place that directly in the center of our card base. And everything should line up nice and beautifully. I already added foam tape behind my little frame there also. We're going to stick that over the the window on our card base and I just love the dimension that this gives. Now we're going to go ahead and arrange our little elements here. I'm going to glue down my pine needles and then I did add foam tape behind each one of my pine cones. Now when I did this I covered the entire back of the pine cones because all those inlaid pieces um, you don't want to fall out so you want to make sure you have great coverage on the back. Now this here is called uh, Gift Twine and it is from Fun Stamper's Journey and it is beautiful. Um, there's actually a lot in here, 68 yards, so you can wrap presents with it. But I love the uh, natural look of it and then it has some gold weaved in there which makes it extra pretty. I'm just going to tie a single bow and place that on my pine cones and that finishes off my first project kind of earthy like I said earthy earthy elegant <laughs> here's a close-up okay for project number two we're going to jump in and again I'm going to use some Bristol smooth cardstock and using those same colors that we used in our first project this is shabby shutters I'm going to ink up a section of this and then the entire bottom portion of this panel we're going to stamp our sentiment down the bottom so I want to make sure I got full coverage across that whole bottom piece and then do a little bit of shading, mostly towards the top, with the forest moss. This way we have a two-tone gradient look. Once that's all done, I did add water droplets and um, activated a little bit of that ink to give it some texture. And then I'm going to take the Christmas tree that's in the Special Day Tags die set. And we're going to cut out three Christmas trees to give my Christmas trees a little bit of something. I did grab some white acrylic paint from my stash. 
it's just cheapy white acrylic paint and I added a little bit of water to it and we are just going to mix it together and do a little bit of splattering. I love this effect on some very uh, geometric trees because it just adds texture and then it, it just makes it look like snow falling. <laughs> I did decide to grab my sentiment panel that we're going to use and do a little splattering on that as well just to make sure everything just ties together beautifully. Now with acrylic paint it does take a little bit of time to dry so I just use my heat gun to speed up the drying process. So using the Merry Christmas stamp from the Holiday Joy stamp set we're going to stamp that towards the bottom of our um, panel here. I'm going to go over it with my anti-static powder tool because again we're going to heat emboss with some gold embossing powder. We're going to stamp that with Versamark ink. Grab our scratch paper. I don't have a drawer for my gold yet. I think I've said this before. I, I need to get one. <laughs> but I'm going to pour this back in my container. Grab my heat gun. Let it heat up for just a bit. And then we'll go ahead and melt our sentiment. After that's nice and melted, I'm going to take my paper trimmer and trim down my sentiment. And we're going to actually tape this on a panel that's um, four inches by five and a quarter. We'll tape it towards the bottom. And then any excess overhanging we can trim off. You can see here I also trimmed um, a small strip of the gold cardstock. We're going to adhere that to another piece of the wood grain pattern paper. This is um, a different style of wood grain, but I like the earthiness of it. So I just attached a small strip to it. I'm going to place that on this panel and then any excess overhanging I'm going to trim off. So this is already lined up and ready to go for us. I'm going to go ahead and take that gift twine and we are going to tie a bow to the left here, just a single bow. We'll trim off the tails. Lovely. We're going to place this on our background panel and kind of arrange our trees. I already put um, foam squares behind them, so we're just going to remove the release paper. And starting with the right one, we'll place that on our panel. And then we'll grab the left one, kind of spacing them evenly. And then we'll go ahead and add our third one right in the middle. Lovely. We're going to flip this panel over and add a piece of foam tape behind it. We're going to pop this up to give our card a little bit more dimension. I did use my tape runner. We're going to go ahead and adhere our background panel directly to an A2 size card base. Actually, I don't know if I told you about that. They're all four, all three cards today are A2 size. We're going to go ahead and add our Christmas tree. Lovely. Now for bells and whistles, I'm taking some Nuvo Honey Gold Glitter Drops and I added little glitter drops to my Christmas tree and I did pull in a little uh, yellow star. I added that to the far left Christmas tree. But that finished off project number two. Now for my final project using the Fun Stamper Journeys, the Fun Stamper's Journey stamps and die sets, um, I'm going to use some gold cardstock and we're going to stamp our sentiment. I'm going to use white and gold and uh, white embossing powder. We're going to go ahead and heat set that. I skipped this part because you can only watch so much embossing. <laughs> now I'm going to use the square or rectangle die that came in the special day tags die set. We're going to cut out a panel with that and this is nice because it has stitch lines on it. I love my stitch lines. I'm going to just punch that out and that's ready to go. Now, on the reverse side of the wood grain pattern paper is a very pale grid line pattern. I'm going to use the tag die and cut out a tag with the reverse side. You can see here I used the pine needle dies and cut out two vellum pine needles. And then also a four inch by five and a quarter inch panel with another different wood grain pattern paper. Now, I thought it would be fun to add a little bit of snow to my vellum pine needles, so I'm going over the edges of them with my Versamark ink, and I'm just going to dip them in my white embossing powder. I did this um, previously on a fall card using gold embossing powder, and I think white looks great for winter cards. 
Now any harsh edges that my ink pad left, I'm just going to um, break up a bit with a paintbrush. I'm going to grab my tweezers and then we're going to go ahead and melt that white embossing powder on the vellum. And I think this gives a great snowy, wintry effect. Once both pieces are melted, we are ready to assemble our card. I'm going to grab my sentiment, my card base, sorry, <laughs> we're going to tape down our wood grain to the center of our card base. And then I'm going to grab some foam tape and add that behind our sentiment. Our sentiment says, wishing you peace, love, and joy. I think that's so pretty. I'm going to pop up my grid line pattern paper with some foam tape. And then I already glued down my pine needles and placed my sentiment on my tag. And we're just going to place that directly on our card base. Now, originally I was just going to use some of the gift twine. Um, and then I decided, well, we're going to bring a little bit more earthiness to it. So I found a very large wood grain button. I'm going to use a glue dot to secure that to um, kind of cover up the, the ends of my pine needles there. We're going to tie a single bow with our twine and using a glue dot, we're going to cheat a bit and add that to the center of our button. Trim it down just a little bit, and that completes card number three. So here's a close-up of this one. So now let's take a look at all three cards that I made today using the Fun Stampers Journey products, available now at the Spellbinder shop. Um, I encourage you guys to check it out. They have a lot of fun, neat products. And so thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a fantastic day, guys. And we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.